baseball season has officially begun and Lansing will soon be welcoming a new team with a bit of a vintage feel. It's very common with the two stripes. Michael Jarima is starting a team. We're called the Lansing Senators. He's a football fan. I'm a fan of the Detroit Lions, so I watch football. With very little ah, baseball experience. That's going to happen a lot. My only experience with baseball before this is playing t-ball when I was very young. But he's starting a baseball team. Vintage baseball, to be exact. There's something intangible that drew me to it. The name Lansing Senators isn't new to the area. We're based on the Lansing Senators minor league team from 1889. Jurima says they're going back even farther than that. We'll be playing with 1867 rules because that's just what's commonplace for vintage teams around the area. Some of the rules include no sliding. Ah, sliding is considered unsportsmanlike. No gloves and no strikes. There are no strikes or balls called unless the umpire thinks that the pitcher or the batter is stalling. The equipment also looks a little different from the balls. But this is what is now called lemon peel stitching. The ball is also a little bit bigger and a little bit less dense, which helps with the catching it barehanded. To the bats Jerima is planning to make from scratch. Vintage bats are a little bit different in style. They don't have a pronounced barrel at the top. It's just kind of a cone of wood. The uniform is also custom designed by Jerima himself. The pants are knickerbocker pants. The shirt of it is a poly cotton material which helps a lot in the summer with the breathability so we're not dying in sweat drenched wool. But the shoes add a touch of the 21st century. We do use modern shoes though because like you can learn to safely catch a ball with your bare hands. No amount of skill is going to give 1800s shoes good arch support. <laughs> The co-ed team will travel around the state to play against other vintage baseball teams. Our season starts here at Francis Park on May 1st. Our first game is against the Monitor Baseball Club of Chelsea. Jerima says watching his dream of creating a team come true has been rewarding. It's always really gratifying to put a lot of work into something and actually have it start to get traction and get going and have other people share that interest. Even though his knowledge of modern day baseball is slim. Having been like not growing up being a baseball fan. That actually kind of helps me out a little bit with that because I have fewer things to unlearn before I can learn the vintage rules. And is looking forward to leading the team to victory. I am very excited. If you're interested in joining the team, don't worry, you didn't strike out. Jerima said they're still looking for a few more members. For more information on how to join the team, visit our website at fox47news.com.